Hello. I want to introduce you today to the uh, easy way to play against queen pawn openings. What I mean by that, if white plays d4 and after knight f6, white does not continue with a second move c4, which will give us one of the openings that we analyze on different tapes. So white has here several different options. They can play bishop g5, which will create Trampovsky attack or Trampovsky opening, or they will try to play knight f3, which can lead to some kind of positions of queen's pawn opening, or they may try to play after knight f3, e3, and the c3 for Cole opening, or knight f3 and bishop e4 with London system. Now, we cannot get into detailed analysis of every one of these systems. We cer certainly don't have enough time and material for that, and also you don't want to have too much to study from. So what I would recommend is easy way through the opening. After d4, knight f6, let's start, for example, with Trampovsky attack, well developed by English players, uh, namely Julian Hodgson, Grandmaster. So after bishop g5, we can write whole book about this opening. But you don't want to study whole book to play one game. And maybe one game in a tournament you may have it. Maybe never. You, maybe you don't get any games with this opening. But you certainly want to be prepared. After bishop g5, the main move here is knight to e4, attacking bishop, and white has here three different ways to play this position. Three moves. One is bishop f4, the other is bishop h4, and finally h4 move. Let's analyze these moves for white and these continuations in a random order. Let's start with move h4. Now, we can, uh, black has several useful moves, d5, c5, knight takes g5, but as I said before, to guide you quickly through this opening, I give you one very safe and very reliable system, which you can learn in a matter of minutes. The move I recommend, the quickest way to equalize for black, and also the less material to study, and you will get save opening, is to play c6. This may not be the most popular continuation for black, but it's definitely very safe. Also, the other move is c5, and with the uh, if you would like to explore further this continuation, you can uh, get the games from the database and analyze them. But we are here to find the easy way. Easy way is c6. Now, what's the purpose of this move? After c6, what we want to do, we want to play either queen b6, or maybe even in some cases, to play knight takes g5, followed by queen a5 check. And uh, third idea, third idea after c6 is just to play d5 and bishop f5, followed by e6 later, and complete development very safely. After c6, 
let's see what white can do. How can white remove this knight from e4? Obviously, f3 is not good because black can simply play knight g3 and then take bishop on f1. Even knight takes g5 followed by queen a5 check will give black very good position. Suppose white plays simply knight f3. Then we can play d5, and if white goes knight d2, we can play bishop f5. You see how black finishes development very natural way. After e3, now we would like to play e6, but we can't yet. So if we went simply h6, and after bishop f4, e6, black is at least equal. It's hard, very hard for white to justify h4 move. It's going to be more difficult for white to castle on king side. This is the simple, simple way to play against h4 move in this opening. d4, knight f6, bishop g5, knight e4, and if white plays h4, just go c6, followed by d5, bishop f5, guaranteed you will get at least an equal position. Now, we don't want to take on g5 because file opens and then we have to study all different continuations. And if you wish to do that, this is kind of on your own risk. So, c6 is very flexible and very safe for black. This is one of three continuations white has after move knight e4. Now, let's analyze bishop f4. This move after knight e4, this today is the most common move. After knight e4, bishop f4. And here, what can we play? We have several ideas. We can go d5, we can go c5, and g6. If we go d5, then white may play f3, knight f6, and e4. This is called the Trampovsky attack pawn sacrifice, which is sharp opening. What I recommend is very ambitious continuation for black, and at the same time, I may say it's safe. What I recommend is to play c5 move. Now, uh, the best move for white here is f3. And why? Suppose white plays d5. Then after queen b6, black has good position. Attacking on b2 and uh, making white protect this pawn in some uncomfortable way. So the obvious move and the most popular and pr practically the only move you can find in today's tournament games is f3. And now we go queen a5 check and c3. Okay, what is the idea of c3? White does not want to interpose the knight because then black is going to take this, with the knight that is already hanging rather than retreat it. So after c3, we have to go back knight f6. And now in this position, which is very well known in theory, white has basically two playable moves. One of them is knight d2, and the other one is e3. Uh, excuse me, uh, is d5. Knight b2, d2, 
or the D5. Uh, let's start with knight D2 move. We play C takes D. Now white must play knight B3 first because if white simply plays C takes D, then white may not have very good game after move knight d5. And you can tell that this is bishop is hanging. If bishop retreats, then knight e3 may be unpleasant. So white immediately experiences problems. So after cd, knight b3 is the move. Now the move I recommend in this position is queen b6. And let's briefly stop on a move that looks like a good move. Queen f5. After queen f5, uh, white is uh, simply better by playing bishop takes b8, rook takes b8, queen d4, attacking a7 pawn, and if black plays b6, then e4 followed by e5 will give white clear advantage. So we don't want to play like this, and we don't want to spend much time on that. You can explore this if you wish, but that's not the recommended continuation for black. The move I recommend here is queen to b6 and now black white has two different moves one is c takes d and the other one is queen takes d4 now what happens after c takes d after c takes d black has very good position Black has very good variety of Slav defense. Uh, we can simply play either d5 or the knight c6, one followed by another. Let's start with d5. And what we can see here, that we have symmetrical almost pawn structure. And we see that instead of this knight on b1, instead of getting to good position on c3 in one move, he made two moves and got to the worst position. We're going to play knight c6, and also the other knight has to come to f3. This is the normal square for the knight. Knight cannot come to f3. When black plays simply knight c6 in bishop f5, black will have at least an equal position. Now let's look at queen takes d4 move. Now after queen takes d4, we can play knight c6 and have very, very good game with it. Example, queen takes b6, a takes b. Now what black wants to play is to e5 and d5 get the center. What can white do here? If they go e4, then e5 and d5 is good. So and for for example, white can play d black can play d5. And what can white do? e5 is not good because of knight d7. Pawn will be in trouble. So this is simply a good position for black. Now, more material is available in uh, any uh, book about this, which, which contains this opening. So what we can conclude now, after that in this position, after queen a5 check and c3, Black goes knight f6. Now the old move and more popular move is d5. Now what sh how should black play this position after d5? 
There are a few ways to play. Some people like here to play e6, and later, after e4, takes e d c d, e d e d, and play d6. This is okay position. Also, black is okay after d6, followed by g6. But what I would recommend here is queen b6 move. This would, I, I would recommend this move, which will give us immediately very good position. Now, we are talking b2 pawn. Which white should protect? And all of a sudden, it's not that simple to protect. It's not that easy to protect b2 pawn. Even Hodgson, who practically developed this opening for white, after queen b6, admitted that there is no better move for white than playing bishop to c1, protecting this pawn. Now, let's see why. Why bishop to c1? If white plays b3, then we just continue development after g6, bishop g7, this diagonal is going to be weak and very, very weak for white. Also, after b3, we can go e6, followed by g6 later. Queen d2 is not a good way to protect because white can, black can simply play knight takes d5. This is very simple combination. Now, black takes a pawn. And if white retakes, then after queen takes b2, rook is lost. You can t see that. And queen takes c5, even knight a6 is OK to protecting the bishop or knight c6. This is losing continuation for white. So after queen b6, white should play bishop c1. And now we can, we can tell that if we simply play d6 and g6 later and finish development, uh, white cannot possibly have any kind of advantage. What did white do here? White played d4, d5, c3, and f3, moves that are not very much recommended in early stage of the game. And then White also played bishop g5, followed by bishop f4, followed by bishop c1. This way, they did not play opening even 200 years ago. So we should not worry about this way to play for white. Now, d4, knight f6, bishop g5, knight e4. So once more, after bishop f4, we go c5, f3, queen a5, check. And on c3, knight f6. Now we want to retake on d4 and finish our development. So if black plays, if white plays d5, then we have queen b6 move, guarantees us good position. OK, so this way we covered already after knight e4, black's second move, we covered bishop f4 move and h4 move. The well, only move that's left is bishop to h4. And again, I can tell you that there are very sharp continuations after g5 bishop g3 and uh, g5 and f3. Those are very sharp positions. Now, you can ask yourself a question. This may happen once a year if you play a heavy tournament schedule. Even then, you may have this position once a year. Is it worth for you? Is it worth your time to, uh, to spend hours and hours analyzing it, or 
just in case this happens, you want to have one simple way out of this opening to have comfortable position. So, in, if you do want easy way out of this opening and get flexible position without getting in too many long sharp analysis, then I would recommend you to play d5. If you go d5 followed by bishop f5, you will get this kind of position. Now, if you want very sharp continuations, it's after g5, and we will not analyze it because our purpose is to give quick guide, like a handbook, to this opening, to pass this opening. So, I simply recommend you to play d5, and on f3, you can even go knight d6, followed later by knight to f5 move. So you have a good position here. And the last thing we want to say here, after d4, d, uh, knight f6, bishop g5, knight e4, well, if they want to play bishop c1 now, to, to play f3 and e4 next, this is not the way to play chess, of course. You just went, if we play now knight f6, we just repeat the position, but of course we're going to go with d5 and play for advantage anyway. So, um, after d4, knight f6, bishop g5, Whatever we spend now, we spent few minutes with this opening, with knight e4 opening, and I can tell you, if you know and if you understood what we looked at now, and if you play this position a little longer, a little deeper, where we stopped, it's like you prepared for this opening. And... Um, uh, Julian Hodgson uh, made a tape on a Trampovsky attack, and he said how good it is. Well, I agree with him. His analysis are good, and sharp continuations are very well uh, planned there for white. So we are making now tape that is kind of antidote for that. So if you play like this, you have one simple position that... Uh, will get you through the opening, get you, that will, you will understand the middle game position you will get after that, and it's easy to play. Now, next chapter I want, suppose you play d4, knight f6, and knight f3. Now, this is the next chapter. So, we have to play e6 here if we want to play Queen's Indian and Nimto Indian positions, right? If we want to play them, we play e6 because white may still go c4 now, and after c4, we may go to Bogo Indian uh, with Bishop b4 check or Queen's Indian type of positions with Bishop b4 check. Now, but after our second move, e6, we see that white plays something else. So what can white play here? White can play bishop f4. White can play bishop g5. Or white can play simply e3. Now, how do we play against it? What is the one simple way? What is the pattern to play these positions? We cannot, for, for instance, if white plays bishop f4, there are no forced variations here. There are no sharp positions that arap, arise after the uh, opening. So what do we do for black? What's our setup here? Here what I would recommend the easy way to play it. Bishop f4. Okay, on bishop f4, this is kind of 
why try the London system type of positions to play e3, c3, bishop d3. And if we are not really careful, and if we don't know what we are doing for black, we may quickly get in a bad and dangerous position. We, we may end up. Bishop f4, I would recommend b6. What you want to play is bishop b7. e3, bishop b7, and now white plays either c3 or bishop d3 or h3. Let's see what white can do here. If Suppose white plays c3. How can we play? Idea of the c3 move is to get this kind of setup that is typical for this opening. If white goes c3, I want to play here bishop e7. And now white can play bishop d3 or knight d2 or h3. Continue with the same idea. And here's what we want to do. On bishop d3, I want to play knight h5. Now you guaranteed to get this bishop. You will get two bishops advantage. But white, if white has to give up dark square bishop, obviously they want to give it up on g3 square. After bishop g3, we can continue with g6 move. We are not in a hurry to take uh, the bishop on uh, g3. And only after white castles we may take, because opening of h file will not be dangerous. But if white doesn't castle and play it knight d2, we can go c5. And after queen e2, we can castle. And uh, you can see if, if black castles, if white castles long here, then we can simply go knight c6 or even d6 and knight d7, and we're going to get counterattack on uh, queen side. However, if bl white castle short side, then we can always take the bishop and later play d6 and knight d7 where we have very comfortable position. Now once more we will go in a little slower pace to this uh, through this opening. It's d4, knight f6, knight f3, e6, bishop f4, and now we going we playing b6. And after e3 Bishop b7, c3, bishop e7. Notice that we want to play knight h5 after we play bishop e7 because we want to make sure that when we go knight h5, this bishop cannot hide. So white will not be able to play bishop g5. Actually, here, after bishop e7, white can play h3 and save the bishop. Then we are not going to play knight h5. This is a little later. But for now, let's go with the, the way we just looked at. Bishop d3, knight h5, bishop g3, and we can go with g6. Let's continue with knight d2. We went c5, queen e2, suppose we castle, and now white eventually has to castle short alongside, and we want to see where white castles. If white castles long, then we're going to go knight c6, followed by rook c8, an easy way to counterattack 
you see, we did not take this bishop yet. So white does not have open h file. And then if we go like d5, c4, b5, we probably gonna uh, get to white's king first. So if white castle, however, if white castles short, then we take on g3, pawn takes, and we go d6, knight d7, with very comfortable position for black. Okay, now going back, we will try to see what is going to be our plan if we can not get if we cannot get this bishop on g5, uh, dark square bishop of white. d4, knight f6, knight f3, e6, bishop f4, b6, e3, bishop b7, c3. As we said, now we don't want to play knight h5 because white goes bishop g5. And you can tell that after bishop takes f3, queen will take on f3. And on queen takes g5, queen takes a8. So we, what we want to do, we go bishop e7. And now black, white sees that knight h5 may cost him the dark square bishop. So they play h3. Move, preparing retreat to h2 square if black plays knight h5. Okay, in this case, we go c5, white goes knight d2 or bishop d3. Now we can castle, and the white castles. Now we can go d6, knight d2, knight d7. This is just a simple position which can be evaluated approximately as equal. Either knight d7 or knight c6. Black has approximately equal position. The danger of this opening for black is if black responds Let's look at one of the dangers here. If black responds after d4, knight f6, um, knight f3, e6, bishop f4, and if black responds after b6, e3, bishop b7, c3, we move like d5. Then after bishop d3 and bishop e7, knight e5, and there were some games where white got instant, very strong attack on a black's king side, and bl black got blown away several times. So at the knight d2 and g4, h4 here, or even queen h3, and black's king is not very safe. If you play this position, you can play it. But it, you have to be very cautious, very careful, and it's a little bit unpleasant. So that's why we went with the system I just recommended. That's what I recommend. Well, and again, what I recommend is not necessarily the best continuation, but it's the easiest to learn and easiest to play.